could feel it in my bones There was something going on That shed a doubt Hanging around God owns Cause darling there was nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone Marilla Sani, how do you do? Today we'll be looking at Saint Laurent products. I want to say a big thank you for Letitia from Nordstrom's, from Saint Laurent Makeup. This video is brought to you with the help of Letitia Brake from Nordstrom's and she's the counter manager at Saint Laurent and Armani and she's noted for being on the front page of the Nordstrom's Beauty website and also a regular at Ottawa's fashion shows, always the most exceptionally beautiful looks. Um, so red lips can definitely be intimidating. So today I'll be showing you our new collection and uh, how to ease into red as an everyday shade and how to also amp it up for a more classic Hollywood style glamour red. So um, I will begin by just swatching a little bit of that color on my hand here just to give it a softer pigment to applicate with and um, the applicator I'm choosing to use um, is my fingertip just to give it more of a blurred um, effect because that's the style I'm kind of going with for this look. Um, the shade that I chose is influenced by its blur base as it is such a classic shade um, of red for a Hollywood glamour and a classic glamour style and also it can um, brighten the pigment of the teeth and give it a whiter appearance. So um, I'm going to go in just in the inner lining of the lip. You want to just line that and blend it with the upper lip, just sort of touching that. Um, softly together and then just as a top coat to give it a wet finish um, you can actually go in and just use our let's glaze in the filler instinct line and kind of pop a little bit of that in the center just to really give it a wearable daytime look and it really transform it into a nighttime Hollywood style glamour look We'll be opening this bag from Saint Laurent and opening this box and seeing what is inside and testing it. So, what is in this little goodie bag? Let's try this out and see. I did use this excellent exfoliator to create an even face before I applied all the product. Thank you so much, Letitia from Nordstrom's. So here we have the Maquillon Universal and it's a makeup remover. I have no makeup, so that's what it looks like. So Oh, it's so, so, ooh, it's so, so soft, like a dream. This is so lovely. Thank you. Oh, this is amazing. I love this product. So, let's put on some makeup and remove it. I put a large blob of Chanel foundation and I overdid it. So, let's see what happens here. Oh, this is so lovely. It's removing it. Oh, this is beautiful. So soft. Mmm, this is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Ooh, so lovely. Mmm, thank you so much, Felicia. This is amazing and wonderful. We'll start with the pure shots. Essence. So, this is a lotion in essence. 
and oh, this is so soft. I love it. Oh, this is so lovely. This is soft. My skin is hydrated. I have no makeup on. I'm absolutely loving this. This is very much like going to a spa. So lovely. Oh, I, I do recommend this. Ah, this is so wonderful. Ooh. And it's for hydration and comfort. I have dry skin. And I'm absolutely loving this. This is so, so lovely. is wonderful. So Saint Laurent was known for his suits. He used to be a student of Mr. Dior. So Mr. Robinson used to work for Mr. Dior then Mr. Saint Laurent. He's perhaps Dior's most successful protege. So good. And after Mr. Dior died, Yves Saint Laurent took his fashion house and took care of it, then built his own brand. Next we have Pure Shots Light Up Serum in Mallow. So this is more of a milky one. Quite lovely. Let's see, put one top of the other. I really, really loved uh, their eye serum. It was so lovely that I tried. So, perhaps <laughs> these always lead to too much shopping trips and too much spending. <laughs> but it's so lovely. Oh, and it's so soft. Excellent. I love it. I know I should probably put the the, the gold door one first, but this is really lovely. So Saint Laurent was known actually for his tuxedo smoking jacket, the smoking, and I'm wearing a tuxedo jacket, but not the same one, in his honor. He was also known for his Mondrian dress and he was known also for bringing Slavic Bohemian look in the 70s that you'll notice no reference to Russian and Ukrainian national dress in a Bohemian way. He became known because a Vogue editor saw his sketches and gave it to Mr. Dior when he was only 17 and he was hired on the spot. I know I'm supposed to use my brush but for, you know, but uh, at the same time I just feel when I do makeup for myself, when I put my essence and serums, I prefer to do it with my hands Though I know if I'm doing it professionally, obviously I would use brushes, but I'm not a makeup artist. I'm simply a former beauty queen. <laughs> Next in my goodie bag is one of the lovely, lovely products. Or Rouge, or Red Gold. That is absolutely fantastic, I've heard. I've heard rave reviews. It's about $300, but it's so worth it, is what I've heard. Let's try and see if it lives up to the hype. So, ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my. This is insane. Wow. I do actually recommend to 
since it's an oil, it should go before the essence, so I got the order wrong. But this is incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I did make a mistake and I'm just showing you as things are. <sighs> I forgot, but so I'm reapplying first the essence and then the creamy one, for, you know, after. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. This is now together. Oh my gosh, this is out of this world. Ooh, like, I'm wearing no foundation, I'm about to put foundation. <gasps> Though, you know, for me, I don't like it. It's pr practically useless unless I wear something really thin, as you see in the photo. It's just like a mineral moisturizer thing. I'm not a fan of foundation, but a little bit, I think, works. And, yeah. Ooh. I feel stunning. <laughs> guy I'll reapply oh my gosh oh yeah and I'm supposed to of course right blah 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 but but I enjoy using my hands this is me this is how I am <laughs> I don't I'm not perfect and it's one of the messages I'm sending to you ladies you know you, perfectionism is a disease if you want to be perfect, you'll never be happy. And no one wants a porcelain perfect doll, they want a human being. Of course, you try to be a bit on the neater side of things. You try to, you do your best, right? You try to be excellent, but don't strive for perfection. Because, you know, to be excellent, to be perfect, is to go all the way from excellence to perfection, basically. It's the same amount, the amount from not knowing anything to excellence is the same amount from excellence to perfection and that's a waste of time and plus nobody likes you if you're perfect a little flaw here or there it's uh, spezzatura next we have our lovely primer and i should use a brush so yeah, i will use one hmm this is lovely I love it. I mean, I don't know. It's very, as you can see, it's milky. So that's a lovely texture. It should even out my nose, something. <laughs> I'm probably not the ideal model for this, although I have some fine lines here and there, I'm sure. It's going to smooth out. And then we can... Oh, I love this glow. Oh, this is so lovely. Ooh. I feel like I have Korean gla glass skin without using Korean product. French have become competitive thanks to Korea. So lovely, look at this. Mm. I quite like it. Thank you so much, Letitia. This is so lovely. Oh my gosh. She did such a beautiful job with my makeup. And she'll be answering questions. And uh, those who were on my social media she answered some of your questions so yeah feel free to ask in the comments below but we'll only be taking the first couple questions So, 
this is the foundation and yes I will use a brush <laughs> and we shall apply oh that is so lovely and I think I have a bump here there we go yes does cover it so that's excellent I want to show not only is it doing its job, but luckily I had a little mild little acne thing today, so <laughs> I can actually show you whether the foundation, concealer and products work, because usually with my skincare routine I don't have a breakout, and <laughs> you know, rarely do I see a breakout as lucky, but today it's lucky because I can show you whether or not the stuff works. I love it. However, for full coverage, I do prefer Chanel Sublimage, though I do not need full coverage. For medium coverage, it's transparent enough that you can see my real skin. However, what I do think is that for myself, I prefer Chanel Mineralize because it's almost not there at all. It just reflects a little bit if you want something that's not there, then this is not it. And if you want something really full coverage to cover acne, etc., this is not it. But this is a few healthy for well-maintained complexion. I quite love it. I think this is the best for medium coverage because in Chanel you have either barely there, not at all, or full coverage. And for right in between, this is perfection. And finally, we have the lipstick. Perhaps this is more reminiscent of the Le Smoking jacket. So, this is my final look. In the photo, Letitia used Armani because that shade suited me a little better. So, to be honest, I prefer the ability of Chanel to stick. It stays with you better and you don't need to have Maybelline underneath which is my pageant trick otherwise if I kiss my husband without an under lipstick this will go all over him I love Armani that Letitia had on me and it suited me quite well I do find Armani and Italian brands are more for warm tones, although they have expanded to cooler tones. Just Italians are warmer and closer to Arabs. And also, uh, French are known for having cooler tone skin. So, especially if you know your skin tones, they start out cool tone and then they branch out. So, luckily, Chanel and uh, Saint Laurent are expanding their ranges to different colors and races but when you know someone starts a product in a certain way they will develop that product the best. Letitia modified a minimalist French look for Saint Laurent for this season to add a little bit of liner to include my Arab heritage while maintaining a classic look. Thank you so much and a bit about my makeup artist. <laughs> Letitia was on the front page of Nordstrom's on their Instagram and she is extraordinarily talented and well known for her elegant, brilliant and fun looks and also her personality. She makes you feel at home, at ease, feel like a queen and picks the most beautiful products. So for my mother's birthday she knew exactly what to make her look her best and also always knows what to make me look my best.
Hollywood style glamour lip and I will be using the same shade as the previous demonstration but um, I will be going in with a lip applicator brush normally to avoid any feathering and to get a nice tapered line I do recommend using a lip liner pencil you can get a nice match to this lipstick online is the shade red tape from our slide on glide on pencil but you can um, really achieve a really nice crisp line with this regardless so here we go just mapping out the colors and the lines. So you can define the shape however you like, but I prefer to do it like this. And you can pull the lip back a bit just to enhance your angling here when uh, applying your lipstick. So right there you get a nice crisp line and uh, it'll blend nice and smoothly as well. So you get to learn your lip shape as you go along as well. And I'm also applying this using a camera, so it's a bit tricky, but you'll see. That finishing angle is really great. And it just merges nicely. You can uh, take your lip bullet and, uh, and all of this formula is infused with um, mango and shea butter. So super, super hydrating. Um, blend any spots that you feel you might have missed. And uh, can top it off even more with our filler instinct as well just to give it an extra plump in the let's glaze color all right thank you some of you are waiting for the scandalous video to appear and don't worry the juicy one will be coming up and meanwhile please like share and subscribe because only by subscribing you will know when the juicy one is up. And also, of course, next week we'll have the new rules of old money. Ciao! There was something going on that should have doubt hanging around.